Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, June 16th, 2017. The main story continues to be the near record-breaking heat that's expected to move into the Great Basin Sunday through Tuesday. Accompanying this heat will be some uh, very isolated thunderstorms beginning along the Sierra on Sunday and possibly transitioning further east throughout the week. These thunderstorms are expected to remain over the higher elevations and be isolated in nature. The last 24 hours has generally seen no precipitation or lightning across the region. Fire activity was also fairly light yesterday. Current ERC trends continue to show values below the 50th percentile for the northern two-thirds of the Great Basin, with values higher than that across the south. These values should be increasing significantly over the weekend and into the first part of next week as temperatures rise dramatically. This morning's satellite imagery shows an area of elongated low pressure along the Canadian border. This is bringing some cooler temperatures, cloud cover, and showers to portions of western and central Idaho and even into western Wyoming uh, throughout the day today. The bulk of the moisture will move across the north this afternoon with continued dry conditions across the south. Again, those showers are expected over the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming and eastern Idaho with generally sunny skies over Nevada and Utah and single-digit relative humidities across the south. Showers should exit the area for the most part on Saturday with sunny skies returning to the north. However, a cold front associated with that system will keep temperatures somewhat moderated across the northern two-thirds of the basin on Saturday. Temperatures will be the hottest over southern Nevada on Saturday with highs over 100 degrees possibly reaching 110 in Las Vegas. By Sunday, the high pressure really strengthens and begins to build over the west coast. This will allow temperatures to increase more dramatically. High risk triggers have been issued for these hot temperatures across the southern Great Basin. Winds will generally be light on Sunday with continued high temperatures around 110 across the southern Great Basin. Three day precipitation accumulations are shown here with the best chance for precip over the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming and that's going to be today into tonight. On Monday the center of the high pressure moves over the southern Great Basin causing temperatures to continue increasing significantly further north into the central Great Basin. During this time frame there could be a chance of some isolated terrain driven thunderstorms moving into eastern Nevada and portions of Utah. Hot temperatures continue on Tuesday with chance for isolated thunderstorms continuing. More of the same is, is expected on Wednesday as well, however, temperatures may begin to decrease ever so slightly across the central Great Basin. By Thursday, the center of the high pressure moves to the southwest, allowing temperatures to decrease slightly. The big impact from these hot and dry conditions will be the rapid drying of some of our fuels, uh, especially the grasses and shrubs. Seven day precipitation totals are shown here, which look a lot like the three day because they we're expecting most of the precip to occur in the short term. However, there's a chance for some of these terrain driven thunderstorms to move into the Sierra and portions of eastern Nevada and Utah um, the beginning of next week. The extended forecast for the third week of June is calling for much above normal temperatures across the southwest U.S. with cooler than normal temperatures over the northwest and generally below normal precipitation is expected during that time frame. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.